Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. In this video, I would like to talk about the ley lines and uh, the most important ley line in the world is Rose Line located in France. Okay, let's get started. First of all, today's day is June 16, so it's 616. 616 strongs is to give birth to. I bring forth, give birth to. Um, it's related to the close of pregnancy and if, if you guys watch the news today uh, the Hong Kong demonstrations from last weekend extended to this weekend and there are two million people uh, demonstrate on the streets besides there was a oil tanker attack yesterday or the day before um, everybody pointing finger at Iran but um, I think it's more deeper level than that. Probably, it's um, a collaboration attack from a group of nations. Um, but anyway, um, the whole region actually want to start the war, but they just want. To they just don't want to be the first one who start the war. So now let's see who who will have the gut to start this uh, third world war. The law and lure of ley lines. Many people believe that a grid of Earth's energies circles the globe, connecting important and sacred uh, sacred sites such as Stonehenge, the Egyptian pyramids, and the Great Wall of China. If you plot this and other sites on a map, a curious thing becomes apparent. Many of them can be connected by straight lines, where these monuments and sacred sites specifically built at those locations by ancient people with lost knowledge of unknown earth energies, especially strong along these ley lines. History of ley lines People have often found special significance in the unusual landmarks and ge geological features surrounding them. High mountain peaks and majestic valleys may be viewed as sacred. For example, while deep dark caves have often been considered the domain of the underworld, the same is true for Rose. In 1800s, on the British Isles, many people believed in mystery, mysterious fairy paths, tra trails connecting certain hilltops in the countryside. It was considered dangerous, or at the very least, unwise, to walk on those paths during certain days because the wayward the wayward traveler might come upon a parade of fairies who would not take kindly to the human interruption. Watkins himself did not believe that there was any magical or mis mystical significance to ley lines. However, the authors note the idea that there is a hidden network of energy lines across the earth. A good analogy is that ley lines exist in the same way that astrological constellations exist. You can draw or imagine lines connecting certain stars to form the horns of the Taurus constellation, the scales of the Libra sign, or the Big Dipper. Rose line is a fictional name given to the Paris meridian and to the sunlight line defining the exact time of Easter on the Norman of St. Sulpus marked by a brass strip on the floor of the church where the two are conflated by Dan Brown in his year 2003 novel The Da Vinci Code. Brown based this on material found in the Perry of Scion documents of the 1960s, where neither the zero meridian nor the sunlight line in St. Sulpice are called Rose Line. Paris Meridian 
It's a meridian line running through the Paris Observatory in Paris, France. Now longitude two twenty fourteen zero three east. It was a long-standing rival to the Greenwich Meridian as the prime meridian of the world. The Paris Meridian Arc or French Meridian Arc is the name of the meridian arc measured along the Paris Meridian. The French Meridian Arc was important for French cartog. Cartography, in as such, in as much as the triangulations of France began with the measurement of the French meridian arc. Moreover, the French meridian arc was important for geodesy, as it was one of the meridian arcs which were measured in order to determine the figure of the Earth. The determination of the figure of the Earth. Was a problem of the highest importance in astronomy, in as much as the diameter of the Earth was the unit to which all celestial distances had to be referred. Our region, in year two thousand, uh, in year sixteen thirty four, France ruled by Louis thirteen and Cardinal. Richelieu decided that the Faro meridian should be used as the reference on maps, since this island is the most western position of the old Earth, ah,、uh, the old world. It was also thought to be exactly twenty degrees west of Paris. A French astronomer, Abbe Jean Picard, measured the length of a degree of latitude. Along the Paris meridian and computed from it the size of the Earth during 1668 to 1670. In 1666, Louis the Fourteenth of France had authorized the building of an observatory in Paris on Midsummer Day, 1667. Members of the Academy of Sciences traced the future building's outline on a plot outside town near the Port Royal Abbey, with Paris meridian exactly bisecting the site north-south. French cartographers, cartographers would use it as their prime meridian for more than two hundred years. All maps from continental Europe. Often have a common grid with Paris degrees at the top, and Faro degrees offset by twenty at the bottom. From the Paris meridian to the Greenwich meridian, the United States passed an Act of Congress on third August nine ah eighteen eighty two, authorizing the president to call an international conference to fix on a common. Prime meridian for time and latitude throughout the world. Before the invitations were sent out on December first, the joint efforts of Abbe Fleming and William Frederick Allen, Secretary of the U.S. Railways General. General Time Convention and managing editor of the Traveler's Official Guide to the Railways, had brought the U.S. railway companies to an agreement, which led to standard railway time being introduced at noon on 18th November 1883 across the nation. Although this was not legally established until 19. Uh, 1918, there was thus a strong sense of fear and conflict that pre- preceded the International Meridian Conference. Although setting local times was not part of the remit of the conference, in 1884, at the International Meridian Conference in Washington D.C., the Greenwich Meridian was adopted as the prime meridian of the world. Esoteric interpretations. Roseline. 
In certain circles, some kind of occult or esoteric significance is ascribed to the Paris Meridian. Sometimes it is even perceived as a sinister axis. Dominique Stéphane, a French conspiracy theorist, attacks the Arago medallions that supposedly chased. Trace the route of an occult geographical line. To him, the Paris Meridian is a Masonic axis, or even the heart of the devil. Harry Lincoln, in his book *The Holy Place*, argues that various ancient structures are aligned according to the Paris Meridian. They even include Mer- medieval. Medieval churches built long before the meridian was established, according to the conventional history. And Lincoln finds finds it obvious that the meridian was based upon the comic intersect division line. David Wood, in his book Genesis, likewise ascribes a deeper significance to the Paris meridian. And takes it into account when trying to decipher the geometry, geometry of the myth encrusted village of Hainusha Two. The meridian passes about three hundred fifty meters, around one thousand one hundred fifty feet west of the site of the so-called Pusa Tomb, an important. Location in the legends and esoteric theories relating to that place. In part two, I will explain further how this rose line works in Paris, and also extend to the whole、um, France, and then to the north of France, extend to Scotland, and then to the south of France, extend.、Uh, To、um, Spain. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.